Hello, in this demo, I am going to demonstrate this keyword. Now, before we proceed for this keyword, let us see what is the use of this keyword or where should I use this keyword? What is the necessity of this keyword? Now, I have grabbed the code from my last example and the last video, the class customer. And I am going to edit it a little. I will just remove this create customer class from here. Just remove even this code. Fine. So, this is my class. Now, for my class, I have three fields in this class. But if we go for our real time projects, like if I am developing an application for some XYZ bank, so bank would be giving customer a big form where he need to fill uh, nearly 30 to 40 fields. So the problem is while initializing those fields, I need to create few variables int a string n double b XYZ and I need to assign the values of those variables to the fields. So I need to remember that account number A must be assigned to account number, N must be assigned to name, B must be assigned to balance. Now say for example, I have one more field that is nothing but a string contact and here I will be passing a parameter string C and what is that I need to do here is I need to say contact equals to C now this is fine now in a hurry or by mistake if I say contact equals to N so this could be a problem that may occur now my program is not going to stop me but in place of contact number it is going to store name so how do i write a code to avoid this kind of ambiguities it's very simple instead of having various different names a n b and c let's have the same name for account number let's have a c n o account number for name let's have the same field name as well here for balance, let's have bal and for contact, let's have contact. Now, what is that I should do? I should say account number equals to account number, name equals to name, balance equals to balance. and contact equals to contact now i'll save this i'll just create a object of the customer class i'll say customer c equals to new customer with four parameters account number name as jack balance as 78000 and contact number it's a string Nine six seven six zero one zero one zero one. Just close the brackets. Now I'll just say C dot balance query. It should display the details. So Lord read line. I'll just have it here. Now if you observe, it's saying account number is zero, name is null, balance is zero, and anyway contact we are not displaying here. So I, I'll just add one more line of code as contact three I'll say contact to this Just copy this and I'll paste it in this method if I press F5 so my object have not got initialized why the reason you can see that there are green underlines so these are warnings we call it as warnings 
I have two account numbers here actually two account number variables one is field of current class another is a parameter of method one is a field of current class another is a parameter of current method my intention is to assign the value from the parameter of current method to the field of current class on the right it should be a local variable and on the left it should be the field of the class whereas here because it is inside the customer method on the right as well as on the left both side we have same account number that means we are assigning the same value to same variable without touching these fields so my intention is on the right i should have the variable of customer constructor the variable of customer constructor on the right and on the left it must be field of current class so i need to refer that this account number is nothing but the field of current class so i can refer this with the help of this keyword this dot account number this dot name this dot balance this dot contact now i'll execute this so it's working fine now if you want me to put a breakpoint and let's see how it works f11 so i have all the values account number name balance and contact now i want to assign contact number to the field of current class so i'll say this dot this 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 come back and if i see the object now my object got initialized with this four values so this is the use of this keyword so what is this keyword this is nothing but the object of this refers to the object of current class in whatever class i am using it refer it's it is a you can say it is a default object like we are creating an object like we are creating an object c of class customer in the same way this is nothing but the object of class customer default object of class customer this always refers to the object of current class the class in which we are using it this is the one use and uh, i'll just uh, show you the another use now before i proceed for the other use of this keyword actually there are two uses of this keyword one use we have seen one use is to initialize the object we can use this keyword in assigning the values of a variable to the fields to avoid the ambiguities that we have seen just now now before we proceed for the other use i want to overload the constructor with three parameters why because see then i may have a few customers with no contact number so for them instead of passing null while creating the object see this is the object i have created where the customer has the contact number if customer does not have the contact number so i am creating one more customer c1 equals to new customer and it will say 1 to 4 say peter 89000 say this peter does not have contact number so what is that i should have used i should have used null so instead of me passing this null string i'll just define one more constructor with three parameters which does not have contact number now i'll say c1 dot balancing way i'll press f5 now you should see that i have object with no contact number to initialize this object i am using following constructor so i can have n number of overloaded constructors so this constructor i am using whenever i get a customer with no contact number and this constructor i will be using whenever i get a customer with a contact number now if you observe this two constructors these three lines of codes is getting repeated 
this dot account number this dot name this dot balance this dot account number this dot name this dot balance now what i want to do already i have written this code now i don't want to write this three lines again i want to use the code which is about what is that i can do whenever i am invoking this whenever my cursor or my program start executing this customer constructor i will ask them to go up and initialize this three variable here and then come down to initialize the last variable that means from here i need to call this constructor explicitly so i can call this constructor explicitly with the help of this keyword i'll say colon this and here i'll pass this three variable up i'll pass account number i'll pass name i'll pass balance now if i put a breakpoint over here i'll just press f5 it is going to jump from here to a constructor with four parameters see that it has jumped here account number name balance and contact now what i will do to initialize these three variables i'll ask the control to jump to this constructor and initialize these three variables and come back so i'm doing this with the help of this keyword and while asking my control to jump to this constructor i am passing this three values account number 123 i am passing name jack i am passing and balance i am passing now my control from here will jump to this constructor now it has carried these three values account number name and balance it will initialize these three variables here comes back and it will initialize the remaining field over here now, if you observe my object got initialized so i'll just display the balance now for this it works in the normal way my control will jump to a constructor with three parameters it has jumped here I am initializing three variables. This works independently. It does not have any relation with a constructor with four parameters. Okay, for balancing query and all these things. So we have seen two uses of this keyword. One is to refer to the variables or fields of current class another is to invoke one constructor from the other see that i can invoke a constructor from the other with the help of this keyword i can invoke one constructor from the other with the help of this keyword the two uses of this keyword are first it is used to initialize the object or to assign the values from local variable to the fields of current class and another use is to invoke a constructor from the other constructor with the help of this keyword now for example here if i say colon this if i do not pass any parameter simply just to examine the chain of the constructor from here my control will jump to this it will display a world then it will initialize this three thing then this then comes back i'll just put breakpoint over here for f11 now my control will jump to customer with three parameters now from here it will jump to a customer with no parameters now it will execute this then this then the last one it will display the balancing query it has executed the default constructor then a constructor with three parameters then last constructor so this is all about your this keyword so thank you very much.